uh, speaker, which is joining us live from UAE. And uh, so uh, let me check if she's online. So, uh, Naima Muhammad Al Manhali, she is a founder and chairperson of Al Nazaya Association. She is an auditor by profession and she's a very renowned business leader. Uh, she is quite popular in her local community and internationally also. And it's an honor to have her own board. So, Naima, can you hear me? Hear you, yes. Oh, that's great. Uh, I want to thank you for joining. I know you are not feeling well, but uh, and it's a great honor for us to have you in this event. So uh, are you able to speak fine? It's it's yes. OK to go ahead. That's great. Yes, that's I great. can. Yes, I can. I can that's, start. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's great. So you can uh, uh, introduce yourself to the audience and please uh, take up your uh, message for the world. Yes. Uh, Assalamu alaikum and greetings. Uh, as Mr. Musa said, I'm the founder and chairperson of the Nazaha Association. Uh, the association is a non profit organization declared by the UAE Ministry of Community Development in June 2019 uh, in order to promote integrity concepts among UAE society. We are also an affiliate of the Association of, of Certified Fraud Examiners in the USA. Uh, starting with UAE government, I would like to start with the great leadership of His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Nahyan, Vice President and Prime Minister of UAE and the, and the ruler of Dubai, and His Highness Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi, and all the rulers of the UAE. Actually, our leaders are so proud of Emirati women for their great partnership and incredible contribution in developing an accomplishment. I would like also to share some words from Her Highness Sheikha Fatima bint Mbarak, mother of the nation. She said, the women of our nation should be proud of the dynamic role they play in the service of our country. Women are, partner, are partners in the struggle, in the past, in the present, and in the future. There is nothing achieved by the unification of our state that has not advanced and benefit women. The mother of the nation encouraging the mother of the nation is supporting and encouraging us, our rights and our progression as well. The UAE government specify one day each year for Emirati women, which is the 28th of August. The mother of nation launch the Emirati women days for the first time in 15th August, 2015. And in 2017, the International Humanitarian Organization, UN Women, honored and privileged Sheikha Fatima for her great efforts toward gender equality and empowerment of women in the UAE. When, it, when it's come to me, I personally consider this day as a recognition and appreciation of Emirati women, and of course, to encourage us to perform more exceptional achievements in both our professional and personal life. Actually, the purpose of this day is to highlight the tremendous contributions of Emirati women and their dedication, achievement, and strength that help to shape the present, the present and future of my country, the UAE. I'm so proud to say that we have women who really inspire us in a daily basis. The UAE and its stand in women have played a huge role in forming the woman that I am today. As a mother, juggling raising my children and working on my career wasn't easy. And I have faced different type of challenges. But always I say that the optimistic sees the opportunities in challenges. 
There were times where I had to do all that while studying for my master's. But because of our government and our rural support, I was able to feel empowered enough to rise above the challenges. I'm proud that I have achieved the highest rank at my job, completed two masters. I have masters in audit management and consultancy from Birmingham City University and master in international and civil security from Khalifa University in the UAE. And I am QIAL, Qualified Inter Audit Leadership, CFE, Certified Fraud Examiner, and CRMA, Certified Risk Management Assurance and trained URE locals on perform audit activities. The UAE has empowered me as a woman to push me to be the best version of myself as a mother, as a friend, as an employee, and a member of society. One of my biggest achievements for my country was the idea of establishing a nonprofit organization to serve the community as a way of, of appreciation to my country. And I did it, alhamdulillah, in cooperation with UAE and many UAE brothers and sisters, and we called an Nazaha Association. Being an Emirati woman, I am so proud also that UAE government is continuing to support us in all fields. The UAE ranks as a number one region for female in leadership positions. According to a study that was conducted in more than 130 countries, there are actually thousands of Emirati women who are assigned to powerful positions and are really making a difference. As you know, we are a very young country. Yes, we are a very young country that has achieved a lot in a very short period of time. And this is because we have a great leadership of our rulers and government. Our rulers always emphasize that women empowerment and gender equality are the key elements to a successful society and strongly believe that Emirati women are making significant contribution toward the UAE success and achievement in different dimension and, and different domain, domain as well. When we look at people driving our nation forward that half of 40 members of federal national council are women this is really translated the gender equality concept and this is not seen only in the council but also on the other sectors i want to emphasize that uae sets policy in order to enhance the work environment by giving us equal opportunities and maintaining healthy work-life balance as well. The, the UAE decision makers fully understand that maintaining a healthy work-life balance becomes the most key role for Emirati professional women, and I am one of them. We are working in a healthy environment, and it's our role as a woman to, alloc to allocate and manage our time appropriately in addition to evaluating our professional and personal activities to ensure that adequate time should be available to meet our professionals and personal activities. Now, in the absence of a clear understanding of how to allocate time for work and family, many women find themselves carrying more workloads than others. And consequently, they cannot reach career and personal goal. It happened to me. But when I realized it, I worked on it until I obtained the work-life balance that I desire. And I understand that nothing is perfect. And if I need the perfection, I will not be happy at all. During my mission to maintain balance between work and family, I understood also that there will be times that I will have to let work or family take priority. It would be impossible to perfectly balance everything in my life at all. Last but not least, by making your personal relations a priority, your productivity and effectiveness of the job will actually increase and upgrade. 
Thank you, uh, Musa. The floor is yours. Thank you very much for uh, sharing your lovely uh, advices and insight. I think um, uh, the world is listening to you. There are global women and they got a very good idea about women in UAE, the good things about the leadership and good thing about you, how you feel and how you connected with the society and delivering your value.